What's going on YouTube, Gioson right here. If you're interested in jailbreaking your iOS device, if it's a newer device, like an iPhone 14, 13, 12, 15, and stuff like that, on iOS 17, we're going to talk about this today. We're going to talk about the best iOS versions and what you should do, what versions you should stay on, and so on. So you probably know iOS 17.6.1 is currently the latest version. Both iOS 17.6.1 and 17.6, which are currently signed, are the worst versions you could be on at the moment. And there is an important reason why. This these versions backport some changes from iOS 18, which is currently in beta, that prevents applications from spawning root programs if they are not root as well. On iOS 17.5.1 and older, things are a little bit better. And if you think about it, if you go here, for example, on the security content of iOS 17.5, Apple does have a huge list of security patches. These bugs are all available on previous versions. So if you're running iOS 17.4.1, for example, or lower, then you have a lot of vulnerability is in here, for example, on core media, it says an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges from pattern F. Pattern F has indeed released vulnerabilities and exploits before that have been used in jailbreak. And this one seems to be pretty important. It says an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Privilege escalation is a big deal to begin with. Kernel privilege escalation, that's a whole different story, much better. This could potentially be exploited for jailbreak purposes, very much like many other vulnerabilities we've used in the past. And then you have a lot of things in here, including some kernel vulnerabilities. It says in here an attacker may cause unexpected app termination or arbitrary code execution. You have another one which says it can bypass kernel memory protections, which again, pretty, pretty good. Then you have other in here, again, with execution of arbitrary code with kernel privileges. All of this could possibly be used for jailbreak purposes very well. So if you're running iOS 17.4.1 or lower, you have all these vulnerabilities in here that could potentially get an X exploit a white paper, a POC that could be exploited, you know, a proof of concept and stuff like that. For the security content of iOS 17.6, interesting, we have DYLD and it says a malicious attacker with arbitrary read and write capability may be able to bypass pointer authentication. This is PAC or pointer authentication code, but it's not the kernel PAC, it's user space PAC. Uh, Michael puts it very clearly in here. They say some information I missed originally, DYLD is commonly associated with user space, not kernel, PAC bypasses, operation triangulation, PAC bypass was a user space PAC bypass. This isn't 100% useless, but it isn't helpful in a full-fledged jailbreak. So you could potentially use this for other things. You may want a great fully completed jailbreak, but failing that, we might get other kind of tools. Remember the Cow tools? The Cow exploit was a very weak exploit compared to others, but it still rendered very interesting tools like Kawabanga, like uh, WDB remove tree app limit, files that escaped WDB to be font override, uh, Santander escape, troll tools, troll box, and even Misaka at some point. So you can still get customization tools even from weaker exploits in some cases. So a full jailbreak would be nice, definitely. But once any of these vulnerabilities get released, we might be able to put it to good use before we can create a full jailbreak. That's why I definitely advise you to stay below iOS 17.5. If you can't, if you already updated the 17.5.1 or 17.5, at least stay there. 17.6 and newer are pretty bad, both for jailbreak purposes and for troll store. Ideally, you would stay on iOS 16 or 17.0 up to say 17.2 but if you can't just stay below 17.6. So yep, that's basically it. Quite a lot of vulnerabilities have been patched lately. Some of them look pretty interesting. Thank you for watching. I am Geos now. Peace out.